I think it's done. It's not perfect, but it's so so good now. It uh, it feels like real bone when you drill it, when you work on it, when you tap it, when you put screws in. The feeling you get is, is really very close to the real bone. It's amazing to see how the same thing changed. The quality is it's a lot better. So it, it mimics the real bone so we can feel when we're drilling through cortex and then a cancellous bone, we can feel when we're inserting the nail. Mm -hmm. and, and everything else was adapted to be more and more realistic. So today we can say that we are in, in a very good position of mimicking the real life in plastic or synthetic bones. And when we talk about technical properties, you said it's not as a real veterinary bone, but is it close to reality? And how important is that for you in the education? It, well, we feel we have a medullary cavity. That's good. That is important. The hardness of bone of a cadaver bone is much harder than life too. So we have now the opposite. But from, them, from that standpoint, I prefer this side. The bones, they changed a lot. They are now much more anatomically. They have uh, better structures around it. You have ligaments around it. You have an uh, intramedullary channel. This we didn't have in the first bones I, I can remember. The bones, they should be as much realistic as possible for us also to teach. And this is very hard to achieve because we have so many different bones. We have cat bones, we have large bones for dogs and also in the veterinary field then they come all the large animals for equine etc. So for the for veterinary courses it's always very tough to get good bones with a good quality. And where would you range Symbone bone models in they this are, regard? They are quite well and they did a lot of improvement in the last year so we got now much better bones than what we had 10 years ago. Mm -hmm.